Hi and welcome to today's Morning Force on Monday the 4th of July with me which is Market Analyst at Hantip Markets. It's Independence Day in the States so they're closed for public holiday. So we've got a fairly cautious sort of nondescript open really. Um, nothing too major in terms of direction. Uh, slightly lower on um, on equities uh, today but then uh, forex majors are sort of mixed really there's nothing too significant in terms of direction on those either um, there is a slightly cautious um, sentiment still from the fact that gold is pushing strongly higher you actually got precious metals across the board performing very well um, and um, that uh, continues to move silver is a key breakout but also gold as well I'll talk through the gold chart in a bit um, Treasury yields still flying around a bit. Uh, two years slightly higher, ten years basically flat to slightly lower. Um, but the dollar has started to find a bit of uh, bit of support, and I'll talk you through the trade weighted dollar in a bit because that's actually my chance of the day. I'll do that in more detail. But um, the oil price also has sort of has sort of pushed back higher again. There was a little bit of a pivot band. Um, that uh, gold is uh, sorry the oil is sort of trading around at the moment on a near term basis and uh, it's sort of in the upper reaches of what looks like being a bit of a trading band really between sort of 46 up towards obviously the, that reaction high at 5167 so it's sort of uh, in the upper half of that uh, near to medium term trading band but no nothing to significant really on on the directional call on oil at the moment um, but yeah as I said fairly sort of cautious moves on markets today so what have we got to look forward to today well nothing really um, you've got the RBA out overnight tonight that's at 5.30 tomorrow morning so that's going to drive um, obviously the Aussie tomorrow they had uh, Australian elections over the weekend coming out with um, no real overall control for uh, either parties um, sort of vying for control and um, seen a bit of a seen as a bit of a stalemate but I think the markets are now looking back forward towards towards the RBA tomorrow which is uh, certainly going to be more of an interesting um, driver of the Aussie dollar um, no change on rates expected at 1.75 percent but also there could be an arguable um, sort of shift back into a more easy um, sort of outlook going forward but um, it will be interesting to see if that has an impact because at the moment it isn't um, and uh, the Aussie is sort of mildly higher on the day um, against the uh, against the dollar. So that takes me to my chance of the day which is the trade weighted US dollar. Now I wanted to look at this because I think it's a very interesting chart. You've had this breakdown, sorry break higher through the trading range on that Brexit decision um, and subsequently since then it's basically been consolidating isn't it? but oh, I reckon that could turn into a bit of a bull flag really um, you've got a pivot band 95.20 support resistance this became supportive resistance and it is that now therefore sort of turns back into support again so supporting at 95.20 is not too far off that now the low is 95.40 that would also be around about the underside, sorry, the the upper side of the uh, old downtrend channel, and uh, also this 89 hour day moving average, which provided the base of resistance, now could also become supportive. So around this sort of this area that it's drifting back into is probably going to be seen as a bit of a buying opportunity, uh, and that would sort of play into my whole argument that I think that the dollar will be sort of pushing. Um, back higher again um, in the coming months as uh, the market sort of takes more of, um, of a safe haven um, safe haven view of this um, probable competitive devaluation um, that uh, that uh, currencies um, or central banks will be taking on um, as a reaction to the uh, the Brexit decision because obviously the the, the um, Bank of England at the, um, it seems to be on the brink of sort of moving towards an easier monetary policy. It couldn't, uh, it could well be that um, it won't be the only central bank doing that as well. So uh, it'd be interesting to see that, and I think that that will there'll be a, a, an eventual move higher on the dollar because of that. And um, it could well be that around that 95.20 mark is a, a decent uh, area to start buying. You've got, it, it said, initial support around 95.40 that is holding. It's starting to settle in this sort of drift lower and uh, it'll be interesting to see if it can start to pick up. It needs a move certainly above that initial resistance, 95, 90, sorry, 96.40. 
and then if that were to be seen the breakout of the of a, of a flag move would be above the highs 96.70 area so I wish you good luck in your trading on the trade weighted dollar today equals USD on the on the codes um, and uh, I'll speak to you later thank you